Okay guys, so I'm going to be trying out the new Huda Beauty Obsessions palette. I purchased three out of four eyeshadow palettes that she came out with. And they retail for $27. I actually purchased mine off of Sephora's website. So the ones that I purchased are the Mauve Obsessions. I also got the Smoky Obsessions. And I also got the Warm Brown Obsessions. Um, these are just the three that were calling my name more than the other palette that she had which is the electric palette that one's really colorful i mean it's beautiful but i just thought i was going to use these more than that other one so today i'm going to be trying out the mob obsessions palette but i just wanted to share with you guys quickly my thoughts on these eyeshadows um basically kind of like a first impressions on what i think about them. When I first opened my package and I saw these, I was like, wow, these are so tiny. Like, I was not expecting them to be this tiny. I was just like a little bit surprised at how tiny they were. They fit on the palm of my hand, as you can see. So they are pretty tiny. But as soon as I opened the actual palette, I was just really happy because the eyeshadows are actually really good size. Um, this one is the Warm Brown Obsessions. The eyeshadows on this palette, like the size, are basically the same size as her bigger palette. So she has two other big palettes. So I do have the Rose Gold Edition palette. This one is the first one I believe that she came out with. This one retails for $65. I do like this. I have done a look using this palette before so if you guys are interested I'll go ahead and link that in the description box so you guys can check that out so I'm happy that she did come out with these little palettes like it's just because if you don't want to splurge on her big palette so this one again is $65 you can buy these little ones that are only $27 just try them out so there are nine shades in each palette and again they retail for $27 so if you do the math they're about $3 per eyeshadow which I think it's really good for good like quality eyeshadows. If you look at the pan the shades are actually not that far apart from each other They're actually closer together than her big palette. The big palette are further apart so you're basically getting the same eyeshadows in the smaller compact less bulkier package. I think these are great for traveling so if you're going to be going out of the country out of town or anything like that you can definitely bring these with you so I'm going to go ahead and try out the mauve obsessions to set my eyeshadow primer I'm going to go into this like really light shade I'm going to put that all over my crease. I'm going to take that really pretty like shimmer pinky color and I'm going to put that on my lid. This also has fallout. Uh, so I am getting some fallout right here and right here. It's not too bad, but I am getting some. So 
maybe you should just do your eyeshadow before doing your foundation so you don't ruin it. Um, so I'm glad I'm doing my eyeshadow first. I'll take that pl dark plummy shade. I'm going to put that on the outer edge of my eye just to darken it up a little bit. So this is going to be the eye look for now. I'm going to go ahead and finish the rest of my face off camera. And I'll be back to share with you my final thoughts on the eyeshadow palette. Okay guys, I'm back. So I'm basically done with all of my makeup. The only one that I tried was the Huda Beauty Mauve Obsessions. And I just want to let you guys know that these colors in this palette do blend out really, really nicely. They do have fallout. So as you saw, when I was putting my brush into each shade, I was getting fallout from pretty much all of the shades. I don't mind the fallout as long as the eyeshadows blend nicely. And these do blend really nicely. They're pretty much comparable to her big palette. So I have used the big palette. Uh, a lot of times and I do really like that one and I think these are just as good as that palette. The only thing is that I wouldn't dig my brush into each shade like directly when you're going into it. Just lightly do it because when I put my brush into this middle shade right here, that brown shade, um, some of the fallout did get onto the lighter shade here. And the only thing is just I would apply like the shimmer more metallic shades with my finger and then fix it with a brush um but the shimmer shade is really really pretty but overall i really really do like these little palettes i think they're so cute they're travel friendly and they're really nice like the color combination are so pretty together so just let me know in the comments below if you guys want me to film a video using the warm brown obsessions and the smoky obsessions i'll be happy to do that i do want to try the other two out as well if you guys want me to do another look using the mob obsessions um i'll be happy to do that with like one of the metallic shades or anything like that just let me know i will definitely film this i hope you guys all really like this video just don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up don't forget to subscribe to my channel and don't forget also that i am doing a giveaway on my channel a holiday giveaway if you guys are interested Make sure you go watch that video. I'll link it in the description box. So make sure you watch that. Follow all the rules so you can be entered into the giveaway. It ends December 15th. It's a Friday. So make sure you enter that. Thank you guys so much for watching. And I'll see you on my next video. Bye.